doing this here is a look at some of the Louis Vuitton pieces in the collection here. A big part of the Louis Vuitton collection ensemble is these hard case trunks, suitcases. And Archie's a huge fan of these particular items. Well made, heavy, unusable for travel, but a great ornament to display in the home or holiday house there. And uh, Archie Luxury's Louis Vuitton collection, one of the cornerstones of Archie's collecting joy. And let's take a look at the Archie Louis Vuitton collection here, fuckers. Hard case luggage, suitcases you can never take on the plane, and briefcases too good to take to work. That sounds like the Archie, Archie motto here. And uh, let's have a pan there. Yes, in that bag there is Archie's special Louis Vuitton Adios President Louis Vuitton briefcase. It's too good to come out of the wrapper. It's in the wrapper still, fuckers. In the wrapper, fuckers. And uh, this here is Archie's uh, collection. And uh, we just want to have a bit of a pan around. This is just the intro, fuckers. This is just the intro. And that's Archie's rare limited edition America's Cup briefcase. Green Tiger. That seems to be Archie's briefcase of choice. Heaps of cases. <clears throat> I like the nice silky oak desk you got there, Archie. Where the fuck did you get that from? Nice, Damia Speedy. And is that a Randoni? Archie, that looks so fucking cool. So let's continue. This is the Archie Luxury Collection Review for 2014, fuckers. Let's keep looking. Love the silky oak, Archie. Let's keep looking, fuckers. And here we are having a look at the Erin Doors section of the collection. This is the jewelry collection. And uh, Archie's put a lot of fucking time and effort into hunting down these pieces. And uh, I always say, you want to get good fucking jewelry, buy once, buy right. And I ain't paying fucking retail for nothing, fuckers, nothing. And uh, this ensemble here, the only pieces that are missing are two uh, solitaire diamond earrings that my wife is pre pleasant, presently wearing. She's a night shift nurse. She's sleeping, so I don't exactly want to yank him out of her ears. But there's some lovely fuckers here. We've got, firstly, the original engagement ring. Which is a 0.6 carat, VS2H, 0.6 of a carat. And then there's the upgrade. When she had a small inheritance came through, I said, get something for yourself. And I brokered this deal, which is a 1.01 VS2, VS2 eye color stone in a platinum setting. I paid four grand for it. $4,000 in a platinum setting. I think it's good buying. I think it's a lovely piece. It's a nice, nice piece. One fucking point oh one carrots, fuckers. <coughs> Excuse me. The dust in here, Archie. Do you ever dust this fucking joint? And uh, when I first met my wife, this is the, the Edwardian. The Edwardian bracelet. It's 19... 10, you know, so that's over a hundred years old and I gave that to the missus when I first met her and asked her to marry me. Oh, I knew she was a good lady and uh, this piece here values at about 10,000 fuckaroonies. Solid gold, 18 karat yellow gold and uh, it's got two, two wonderful old European cut diamonds in it. And it's also got a natural one carat emerald. And if we have a look in here, you can see the hallmarks. Actually, we'll just flip that around. The hallmarks in here, this is the hallmarks. And those hallmarks belong to a jeweler in Market Street, Sydney. So this is an Australian piece. Big, chunky, gold. 18 carat yellow gold fuckers. And uh, I just adore this piece. What a beautiful, nice bracelet to own and possess and to hoard.
Hold, hold, hold. Just a beautiful piece. I love it to death. It's just gorgeous. It's Edwardian. It's, uh, you know, very s form and function. Very much like the Bauhaus movement of design. And uh, I love that piece. Lovely, lovely piece. 18 carat Italian chain. 9 carat uh, white and yellow gold bracelet. We've got... Uh, we had some beautiful... These are natural. These are proper fuckers. The pearls themselves there. Black Tahitian pearl necklace. 11 to 12 mil each. Amazing quality. Absolutely amazing. It values. That fucker there, that values... That's sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars, fuckers. And uh, I had these earrings made for Erin Doors. And these are 13, 13.3, fuckers. 13.3 millimeters diameter on each of these here. And they are just amazing fuckers. Absolutely amazing fuckers. Half a carat of diamond of course on each one there and uh, I, ha I designed those that's Archie Luxury Design Excellence they're just beautiful absolutely beautiful and uh, I love them I love them to death fuckers and uh, you know you don't need to buy a lot of stuff it's the quality over quantity fuckers quality over quantity fuckers and uh, that's that's the best advice I can give you get good stuff, then you don't need to continually replace it. You buy beautiful shit, it will last a lifetime. And, uh, you know, the other thing is, fuckers, in Australia here, one carat, that's a, that's a great ring. In New York City, that may not be so, such a, you know, that they, they got different expectations. Mind you, since the GFC bit badly, sizes have come down, but you buy quality once. I bought this second hand. Almost everything I buy is second hand, Archie. That was four grand for a 1.01 VS2 eye color stone in a platinum setting, fuckers. In a platinum setting. So uh, that's that's what I call buying well. You got to buy well. So my entire ensemble here. How much money are we looking at? Well, I've actually pumped in. About 17,000, and that includes the uh, two half carats. So it's one carat total for my wife, the earring she's wearing. So that's a, that gives you an idea. I, um, I'm after a bargain. I'm a luxury goods collector, and I ain't fucking paying retail. Retail is for morons and fools. I'm Archie Luxury, and this has been the enjoyable Erin Doors Jewelry Collection. Next, what's next, Archie? Let's look at the next collection. And here we go. Archie Luxury's exquisite, exquisite writing instrument collection. And uh, this is this is Archie Luxury's true form. He loves a quality writing fucker. And uh, you can see some interesting things here. We've got many interesting pens. Where's Monty? Monty! 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 Ah, uh, hello, Monty! Hello, Monty! There we go. Here's Monty, the Montegrappa fountain pen. And uh, as A. Crosby would say, he's like the flute in H.R. Puffin stuff. You fucking betcha! This evil fucker, that's, the, that's where that flute went. He uh, became a, uh, a fountain pen for Archie. And uh, just an absolute quality piston lever fountain pen, fuckers. What a quality thing to have, hey? What a quality thing. Solid gold lint nib, piston lever, fucker. This, this is where it is at, fuckers. That is where it's at. And uh, that's a beautiful, an absolute beautiful fountain pen. The Monty Grappa. Monty! Archie's. Archie's personal writing instrument. And uh, another very nice, high-quality piece, which Archie loves a lot, 
is Archie's limited edition Millennium. That's right, the Millennium. The new Millennium. Year 2000. You remember that fucker? This was the Greenwich, the Greenwich limited edition. What a wonderful, wonderful pen to commemorate such an important time. And uh, it wasn't so great for Archie. No, his business went guts up. Times were fucking hard. He was forced to sell his president off. Yeah, things weren't that great for good old Archie. But uh, there you go there. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful fountain pen. If only I can get the end fucker in focus. Come on, bastard, focus. There you go. Parker Doerfold. What a wonderful pen. And uh, i I got to tell you something. Someone asked me, what's the best writing writing fountain pen out there? And uh, I, I would have to tell you, it's the, it is the Doerfold. The Parker Doerfold. If I could get this bastard into focus. Come on, fuckers. Come on, this is going to go into focus. Fuck, it won't go into focus. There we go. Solid gold nib. This is probably the nicest writing nib I think you could find there. And the, the general advice is, basically, fuckers, you want a quality writing instrument, get yourself a pen, <clears throat> fountain pen, with a solid gold nib. Nothing else will do, fuckers. Nothing else will do. And uh, one of Archie's personal favourites is his Montegrappa ball pen. This was sent in by a fan. Look at that. Archie received this beautiful gift from a fan who loves Archie and uh, who appreciates Archie's materialism and contribution to educating the masses on luxury goods and luxury living. So there we go. That's the... That's a present that was sent in, a beautiful Montegrappa ball pen, which Archie dearly loves. I absolutely love that. That's just a, just a wonderful thing to have in the collection there. A few other pieces. Uh, look, I, I really do love, this is my Cartier, my Cartier Must Lacquered Fountain Pen. That's a great, great fountain pen with the three golds. There, the yellow, white, and rose gold interwoven there. That's a great fountain pen. I love that. Look, I, I've uh, I've gone away from Mont Blanc. I've, I've really, you know, I've had some bad experiences with Mont Blanc. So I, I've relegated Mont Blanc to ball pen only. And uh, you know, the, these ones are silver. They'll need a, they just need a little bit of a polish, Archie. But yeah, that's okay. That's okay. One ball pen I really love is the Dunhill. I believe this is a Dunhill Millennium. So look at this. Okay, so that there's so you can put it in your shirt. And then you rotate it. I'll just see if I can get it in focus a bit more. Then you rotate and it shrinks in. Look at that. Out. It's pen's gone in for when you want to put it in your pocket. And when you're using it. It shrinks in. What a, I love the Dunhill design. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful silver. I love silver as a writing instrument. I got to tell you, silver is such a great metal when it comes to writing instruments. And uh, yes, I've got quite a few, some more Parker Dual Folds with a pencil and some very, very nice pens there, Archie. So this is the the luxury pens. In your collection. Hang on a minute, Archie. Your wife's Mont Blanc's not here. Ah, fuck. You know, when you make these videos, you're trying to put everything you own in. You always leave out things. And uh, I've forgotten my wife's Mont Blanc. That's okay. We'll put that in the next series, fuckers. Okay, moving on, Archie. And we continue looking at the Archie Luxury collection by having a look at Archie Luxury's love for Cartier desk clocks. And we've got some magnificent pieces here, and uh, this this collection was uh, it was this this desire for Cartier clocks was started a number of years ago, when Archie acquired his first couple of clocks, and uh, due to financial reasons, Archie was forced to sell them all off, and uh, 
Archie, ever since then, has been trying to build a quality ensemble of quality clocks. Now, these clocks here, so, you know, the tr reality is a lot of these clocks, there's two clocks in this collection, which are mechanical. The rest are all quartz. And um, some people, you know, quartz is so terminal, but um, in a clock, it's actually quite a reasonable thing. It keeps accurate time. It runs. And um, you don't have to wind the bastard up. But, uh, yes, yeah, some of these, the two clocks, the black one and the blue one, they are both mechanical. Mechanical. The rest are all quartz. But it's, it's not, a, it's not, it's not, that's not so important. I think the important thing is, is that they're all beautifully well-made Cartier clocks. These two at the front. They're Cartier tank clocks. They're uh, made to um, to commemorate the, the the magnificent Cartier Cartier tank wristwatch. And uh, they they do it. I just got to get rid of a smudge here on the the dial. Just just well, just one moment, fighters. And um, they're just a lovely lovely thing. The uh, the Cartier Santos clock. And uh, the Cartier personal line clock. That's the personal line clock. Archie had one of those years ago. And uh, <clears throat> due to financial difficulties, he had to sell it. And uh, he very luckily, he managed to buy one back after the GFC at quite a good price. And uh, I've had a lot of these clocks serviced by Cartier. They're not, Cartier's not terrible. They refurbished my uh, my beautiful black tank clock, and uh, that's that's just stunning. With a lot of these Cartier clocks, they used to use a real weird battery, but uh, if you send them in for a service, they actually change the movement over to a newer type of movement, which uses a standard battery. So uh, that's certainly good news to all you luxury Cartier lovers, and I love Cartier. Cartier is a, you know, it's that jewellery fashion house. I think it's better than Tiffany. I think, you know, Cartier is more snooty than the Americans. And uh, I always, I love Cartier. I think it's a great brand. Absolutely fantastic brand. And uh, so let, let, let's have a look here. We've got the, the two mechanical clocks. We've got the two tank clocks the uh, Santos clock and we've got the personal line that was a limited edition in 1990 and at the back we've got the uh, the beautiful exquisite exquisite uh, this is this is a uh, what's the fuck's it called it's an exquisite exquisite what the fuck I can't ah oh, Jesus Christ it's just on the top tip of my tongue don't you love that you're recording you're live, you know, you're on air, and you can't fucking remember what the hell the bastard is called. Exquisite mantle clock. Thank you, fuckers. And uh, these, these, these are, you know, the interesting thing is they're, they're reasonable buying. They're reasonable buying, and um, I've sunk a bit of, you know, there's, there's quite a few, few thousands of dollars there. That back clock. That back clock there, that's actually hideously expensive. Retail replacement is $16,800 for a quartz clock, but it's Cartier. Cartier fuckers, Cartier fuckers. And um, I, I got it for a song, got it for an absolute song. And um, yes, it's very interesting. I love my clocks there. I'm thinking about rationalizing, meaning selling the fat is off. But uh, I don't know. I just, they, they give me a sense of joy. When I do go full time, I'd like to, on each of these clocks, put a, uh, a time zone for a different country. So you'd have New York time, you'd have uh, California time, London, Paris, uh, you know, all over the fucking joint. Just a really snazzy fucker. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes there. So I hope you've enjoyed the Archie Luxury Clock Collection.